we did it. Two weeks we built this truck from dragging it out of uh, down south from here a couple hours. We brought it here, cleaned it up, rewired it, did all this work to it for Destroy It's Channel, Tannerites Ranch. I couldn't have done it without these two. And Billy behind the camera. These guys have been amazing. We've spent sleepless nights working on this thing. They work normal, everyday jobs, and then come here and work all night long. So go watch how we built this and uh, watch Destroy It and check out the things that we do with this truck because this is just the beginning of all this madness. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Destroy It just got a hold of me and he wants fire truck. We are in route to go pick up a fire truck. 1974 Ford cab over. Here we go on another quest, you know. Let's go get a fire truck. This is what we're going to pick up right here. It's got 10,000 original miles. We're gonna bring it back to the shop, do some modifications to it, and then get it back to uh, Tannerite's Ranch for destroy it. Not sure what he's gonna do with it, but at this point, he says go, we go. Got about an hour and 20 minute drive. We're just gonna drive it. We'll see how this goes, should be fun. Well, we made it. That back there is a fire truck. She's a beaut. We got You're going on your face, dude. It's like Disneyland. You got a starting fluid? Have him try it right now. He's kind of sideways. <laughs> yeah. So a butterfly valve won't move. <laughs> what are we doing right what now? Are we doing? Putting fuel in a fire truck. Let's find out if this thing moves or not. It drives. Time to pull the fire truck in. We got one week to reveal this to destroy it. Let's get it going. All right, let's see if this thing will start. All right, it's cold here, it's snowing. Jason from Star Metal Fluids just showed up. He's awesome and brought us a tank. So we're gonna put two of those square tanks in the back of the fire truck and they fit perfect. So we'll just plumb them together. Should be about, what, 600 gallons? Between the two? 600 gallons. 600 gallons between the two, so that should put out a car fire. We'll get this unloaded and get it in the shop and we'll start on the tanks. You got it? Just right here. So on this truck, we've messed around with the lights. We've got a few lights working. There's a lot of fuses in the fuse box. So you've got a bunch missing. So we've got these new glass fuses we're gonna throw in it real quick and see if we can't get the lights to work. So if we can just get those ones up top working. We've got Gene working on the polishing. It's starting to clean right up. It's got a cool patina to it. Started working. Hazard lights. Wax on. Wax on. Wax on. Circular motion. This side over here. We'll wax off. Wax 
back so okay don't ever do that again <laughs> use a buffer we have power tools man karate kid was in the you 60s, told me i couldn't 70s. use the power tools anymore now you can use power tools a little bit nice and all over there yeah that was all done by hand looks like a nice crisp clean apple you just want to take a bite right here Man, look at that. Do a recap of GM seizure. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <laughs> like the little teapot. <laughs> Chat is trying to figure out how they wired this fire truck. We replaced the fuses. We've got a control box up here for like your beacon and your lights and all that. We've got to trace some wires. Then we can get the siren and the lights working on top. So this has got an old speaker sat up in it that mounts inside here and then there's also a motor that mounts on here with a belt but we're thinking that this might be the PA we don't know if there's a siren that's coming through something else into this so we're just tracing wires if we get that set up working that's almost one of the most important parts of it is having light siren and water shooting on the back of it Oh, no big sparks. It's on? Now nothing's turning on up here. Here we go. I had it too tight. I do believe it's going together right. Looky there. Now let's go try the switch again. Oh no, the motor's spinning but it's not. Okay, we're up here on the top of this fire truck. Chet's just about got the belt put back together. We had to go buy a belt from AutoZone. What it was was a water pump gasket or something. We just went through their gasket kits and was able to find a belt because the old one was stretched. So now the lights should rotate just like they're supposed to back in the day. Now we'll get this put back together and See how she works. Okay, see if these lights work. Look, oh, hold it, turn it off. A good possibility with blue fuse, look at that. That wire right there was touching when the lights rotated. It grounded itself out. Turn it on. Look at that. There was not a fourth one. Cool. Look how good Gene did on this. Now all he's got to do is wash the windows. Yeah, I'm not, I don't wash windows. Do that. He'll polish the truck, but he won't wash windows. This door looks like to me they had the door open and backed into something and it has pushed this door over that fender. I don't know if you can tell, but it overlaps that fender. So here I've loosened these bolts here and up top. We're going to try to move this door out this way a little bit. Let's see if we can get it to adjust. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the pressure right here on this door where it's all bent in and just try to bend that metal back a little bit, a little bit at a time. Gene's way better at this than I am.
still hot. Okay. Anyway, you need to wire this back because that's what shifts it. See, right now you're in neutral okay. and the pump's turning. So you're not able to drive the truck and use the pump at the same time. We got to be able to drive the truck and spray water. Lynn, what am I doing in here? We're done. You have to have 900 gallons. Ain't enough in Utah Lake. <laughs> we're in a drought. We got to minimize this. Yeah. We decided that we're going to put in a gas-powered pump. We want to be able to drive it and pump at the same time. So we decided to put the kibosh on that huge thing because one, we don't know much about it. Two, it's been sitting so long and unhooked that it's the functionality of it isn't there. And three, we want to be able to drive in stray water. We're going to run over to the tool store, grab a pump and get that installed in this cabinet right here. And we'll see how that works. Slow. Well, we have flags, we have a new pump, we have access for the sides. We should be able to pump some water and tear through some houses or tear through something with those axes. We'll see. I'm sure uh, destroy it. As soon as he sees those, he's going to be uh, in hog heaven going, destroying something with them. So. Let's get them home and get them in the truck. Get these sockets off. Now I'll cut this wire right here and wire in a new 1156 socket. We'll just bring it down and put a self tapper in right there and mount that new socket in. Ow! This doesn't want to play. It's some old wire. All right, so we're just testing this right now, so nobody freak out that I'm not using the butt connector. Hey, will you hit those accessory lights inside there? You gotta turn on the, turn on the power. Okay, now do your backup. Backup switch is on. Oh, yeah. How'd we lose tail lights? What's that smoking? <laughs> it's something, something smoking, hold on. Well, that's probably why right there. Well, that one's cut. We didn't even blow a fuse, we just sat there on fire. We got lights. What about backups? Come on, G. Headlights are on. Put everything down. Battery's down. Battery in. I should probably use the right tools for this. Get a good battery in here. Try that. It's weird how dead that was. Try starting it again. I think these need to be grounded. Yeah, they got to be grounded. Don't need a ground. Mm -mm. Just a bolt. Where that's gonna be tucked back in there. We'll screw that down. And we'll bend the wire back down and put the cover back on and we'll be good to go. Well, cell tappers don't go through that stuff. Stainless steel. Woo! Is your finger? This is my finger. find the cover for this well we found one but there's six hundred dollars for the replacement so I got on Amazon and found this bucket that pretty much symbolizes the original cover so we're gonna cut these tabs off we'll mount this down to it that'll spin we'll, we'll paint it inside red and that will be our new cover so let's get it cut Well, that didn't go as planned. All right, let's try this again. I blame it on Chet. Chet took it and unplugged it and plugged it back in, and so we blame it on him, and 
and then his brother was helping him too. So there's his brother behind you. <laughs> I like it. Now let's paint it. We don't want it to be too dark. Let's go kick those lights on and try it. been a minute since that's come off there. I'm gonna need a bigger pipe wrench. Oh look, tool guy just came in. Will you give me a big pipe wrench? Where am I gonna find a pipe wrench? I don't want it to break loose and I end up on the ground. So what we're doing is we're gonna take this pipe off. There's a hose that goes up underneath to the existing pump, but where we're gonna be doing away with that, we wanna come up and we'll thread in a whole new line off this so that we can feed this hose and be able to spray this nozzle while we're driving the truck. Well, I told Chet the other day, you can't swear. And he said, oh, sorry, stop swearing. That's because you stabbed somebody with a pair of scissors. Hose, part of it. This is the other end of the line that goes into the pump, the existing pump that we're not going to be using. This line will now come up off of the hose reel. We'll run it down into the new pump. We just want to be able to drive and spray. Okay. We're going to take this hose, we'll take both ends, and we're going to have a hose made that has a completely different end. We'll take it and get the same diameter. We're going to put new spark plugs and wires in this. Get out like. It's a new day. Today we're going to finish up getting the oil changed on the fire truck. There's still quite a bit of work to do. We've, we've got three days left to do it. Let's get this oil changed. So we've got the oil filter out. This is a totally different oil filter than what's your normal 390. It's got the oil filter housing there. Go to AutoZone and see if we can get a filter for that. So we got the new filter from AutoZone. That's good, it's in. All right, let's get oil put in this thing. We'll get it fired up and she should run like a brand new car. Calls for seven quarts. So it's about two quarts low. You grab those other two. I'll just use the ones that I already had sitting here. Pay attention, huh? Okay. Beautiful. We're good. There's a local junkyard. I'm gonna run down there and see if I can't find some headlight rings for this fire truck. We'll jump on the bike, head south, and see what we can find. There's the junkyard dog right there. He's filming you, dumb He's coming after me. Here he comes. He's the protector. I'm down here at this wrecking yard in uh, Nephi. I'm out of breath because I've had to climb over all these, <laughs> between these cars and through two feet of tumbleweeds. I mean, I've I just climbed through all that. There's such classics. Look at right there. That is same year cab over, and it has both headlight rings. How cool is that? Now I've just got to go get some tools, and we got headlight rings. I'm trying to think what else we would want to take off of this. 
he told me it's a parts truck. I mean, you look around at some of this classic stuff. This is stuff that you don't see every day. I mean, look at that. That's a Studebaker with a flatbed on it. International Scout. How cool is this? This is exciting. I'm way excited. door handle off. I don't have anywhere to hold the camera. Let's get back to the shop. Much better. All right, so I'm going to pull this headliner out of here. So we want to put the air horn up top and in order to run the power wires for that air horn, we got to be able to come down through this headliner. So we'll walk the wires over down this pillar right here up underneath to the accessory spot on the ignition. We also have this control box for the siren and the horns and everything, and we're gonna put it in right here. Ah, look how cool that is. We're over here at Barber Metals and Spanish Fork. They're gonna get us our aluminum diamond plate, get it bent for us. It's for the sides of the fire trucks. Check this out. I'm cutting these out here is because we've got to take this piece of plastic hose we'll hose clamp it here our other tanks will cut this they'll butt up next to each other we'll hose clamp that basically it's just a flow get the tanks connected together well there's a hole in it we took one of the stands so we can fit it through the hole and we'll to cut a big hole on the top of this okay you ready ready I'm ready Okay. All right, Bill, we're about to uh, tear our backs out. Watch this. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, Arkham's comp, right? No. Two tanks are tied together. He's, he's like a Hereford. He's pulling these all over the place. Don't ever call me that again. Go back as far as we can. We're stuck up here somewhere. There she goes. She's in. Here we go. How's that look? Why is it doing that? I got sick of that stupid hole saw thing that don't work. I'm just gonna take a grinder and I'll just cut a square. Stick into the crease. Wrap that in a rubber seal so when that hose pressurizes and moves around, it's not going to cut on the metal. It's got a rubber seal to rub off. Professionalism, man. She's on, bud. All right, let's get this pump in place and bolt it down. All right, got the pump all bolted down. Now, Let's get the plumbing all finished up. Well, there's our flow to the inlet into the pump of the tanks. Now this hose, one there, 
for our outlet. I like it. Yeah, we're ready to see if this thing squirts some water. That's awesome. It works, it sprays. So cool, so excited. Let's get the sides put on this thing. Tight little tiger. That right there is hot. <laughs> Didn't even see it, leaned right oh, on. I'm like, how the hell's a diamond play hot? Come down just a little bit, just like that. Done. Okay. Don't have to cut it. I like it. And then you can put a self tapper right here on the top or something tied together. We got Mark here from MHC Signs. He's uh, installing all of our decals on the fire truck. Back to it. So the TR is Tannerites Ranch Fire Department. Tannerites Ranch. Alright, so we're here with Mark. He's got the fire truck just about finished up and he surprised us with something really cool. So we've got an old, I believe it's 19, it's late 20s, early 30s cow sitting up there. An old Ford. Check out what Mark surprised us with. He made a Do It Bro windshield. How cool is that? So we'll put that up there, we'll install it. There's our Do It Bro cow. See it? Just tighten it down the best you can. Someday we're gonna look back on this, Bill, and we're gonna say, remember the fire truck killed? And Gene's gonna be like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> the spraying water part, though, I'd like a little kid over here. I went in and got everybody out of the house. Come look at this. <laughs> They're like, cool, it's a hose. No, you don't understand. smash down the end of the conduit and we're bracing these sides because this is real thin gauge uh, diamond plate and it's aluminum. We don't want it to flex in or have any issues at all. We've got ladders going on the outside so we braced all the way around. 90% of the reason for these sides is to hide these ugly tanks that are in here. Is that good Bill? You happy with that? No, Bonnie. Oh no.
flagpole, and it is reveal day, 2 a.m. We're all running on, uh, we're not sure what we're running on yet, but we're going to get her done and drive her. So, let's get this flagpole now. That was about one inch thick, felt like. There's our flagpole. It's pretty cool. Excited. This sprays water. We put, we put tanks in it, sides on it, rewired all the lights, updated a lot of stuff in it. It's awesome. I'm excited. Instead of uh, catching dogs, you can start washing windows. <laughs> <laughs> 